If you're a climber like me, then you know that developing a strong core is important in climbing because it helps us move with maximum efficiency on the wall. Having a strong core allows us to move with harmony when climbing, giving us more endurance and allowing us to perform harder climbs in an efficient way. That's why I make sure that despite my busy schedule, working full time, climbing, and managing all of those commitments out there, that I still get to do my core workout routine. So today, I'm going to show you my six core exercises that gives me more stability, balance, and overall strength to send my climbing projects. And I only get to do it in six minutes. So yeah, let's start with the first workout. The first exercise is twist crunches. Try to maintain a dish position throughout this exercise and don't use any weights if you want this to be easier. I normally use a 3kg small dumbbell for a bit of challenge. But if you don't have one, you can also get a stack of copy paper that works well too. You should be feeling the burning sensation on your abs. And focus on rotating your whole body and not just switching the position of your arms. For the second one, we have leg raises. For me, this is the easier version of hanging leg raises that stronger climbers can do. Start the movement from your core and hip area. And try not to arch your back. It's easier to do that when you make slow, controlled movements. Don't just throw it around. Only use your body weight to make this easy or use an ankle weights to make it more challenging. On to the third exercise, which is the side plank. This one you can do 30 seconds on each side. Remember to tuck in your belly button and engage your shoulders. Don't let your hips fall. Do this statically or to make it more challenging, you can do the hip drop movement. Now we're going to the fourth one, which is the hollow hold. Maintain a dish tuck position all throughout and engage your core. You should feel the burn on your abs. Hold your arms on the side if you want it to be easier, just like this. Or hold your arms straight above your head and straighten your legs to make it a bit harder. Almost there, here's the fifth exercise. This is commonly known as the knee to elbow exercise, but I call it Spider-Man plank. So get on your forelimbs with straight arms. Engage your core as you try to bring your knee close to your elbow. Try not to swing your body too much as you do the movements. And keep your head on a neutral position. Make this a bit harder by lowering down to your elbows. The last exercise for today is plank shoulder taps. Engage your core and don't let your hips move too much. Engage your shoulders and back, don't let them hang loose. You can do this by positioning your feet wide apart for a more comfortable feeling. If you want it harder, you have to bring your feet closer to each other. So that's it! It's just a 6 minute workout but it feels quite intense when you don't get rest in between each exercise. So do what is comfortable for you. If you need a bit of rest before moving on to the next exercise, just go for it. And if that's too easy for you and you think that you have more than 6 minutes to spare, then you can just repeat the entire workout 2-3 to three more times, putting some rest in between each exercise and each set. What I like about this workout is the fact that the combination of these exercises target all of my core area. So my upper, lower sides, and even my lower back. And it's also targeting the movement that we actually do in climbing. For example, the twist crunches, leg raises, and hollow hold all help 
when we're climbing an overhang, especially when we cut feet. So it'll be easier for us to bring our feet back on the wall. And the other three helps us keep our feet on the wall and not cut loose easily. If you're wondering, I prefer doing this workout here inside my office at work during lunch hours because it is just more convenient for me. So it's totally up to you to find the best time and the best place for you to do this workout. The important thing is that you don't let your busy schedule get in the way of your training goals. Stop making excuses and start making time for the things that matter to you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you got some value out of it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel to see more climbing related content. Thanks again for being here. Until next time, keep climbing, keep adventuring, and I'll see you on my next climb. Cheers!